what a beautiful night. Oh, you guys, I love it here. And hello everyone, and welcome back to Wildberry Island, where it is a gorgeous evening under the moonlight, and we have finally returned after a very busy day of pixel biology adventures elsewhere to spend a little bit of time with our villager friends. I am so excited to get a little bit of time to chat with all of our villagers and hopefully give them some lovely gifts, maybe even some gifts based on the cherry blossom DIY recipes that I have managed to get my hands on. Let me see if I can find all of them. <gasps> Look at that petal pile. I am so excited that we're going to be able to make petal piles to just put all over the entire village. That is gonna be so much fun. We've also got the cherry blossom umbrella. I have gotten the cherry blossom flooring and the cherry blossom clock so far, which you can actually customize into multiple colors. So I think we're doing pretty good for having some fun cherry blossom items that we could give our friends. And I also think it would be really fun to give the villagers a bunch of bunny day reefs, uh, maybe as their gift tonight. Or we could even give them some of the bunny day crowns if they don't have a bunny day crown to wear. So I think that's going to be our goal for the evening. I have been hard at work taking care of elephants in our Planet Zoo adventures, preparing some piñatas that are going to surprise you guys later today, since by the time you guys see our evening adventures here, it is going to be tomorrow. I apologize for that. You see, our internet has gotten so slow! so slow we've actually lost our internet speed where i live by 60 percent due to the number of people who are now working from home so i apologize if it takes us a little while longer than it should for us to be able to share our adventures oh my gosh i love all of the little reactions we have but at least we'll be able to share the time together right also i hear a balloon all right that's an egg balloon so we can go ahead and ignore that one for now uh, if it happens to get a little bit closer to us, uh, is it going to get on this side? All right, all right. I'll go ahead and shoot it down from the sky. Might as well. We could use that sky egg to make a really cute crown for our friends. Ah, we lost it. I was too impatient. <laughs> But since we did so much work already today, I figured the rest of the night we'll go ahead and visit with our villager friends and try to pay off some of that incline that we had or decorate the town getting ready for the wonders of Bunny Day and Sakura season. So let's see. Oh, and I also stopped over and actually during my lunch break and one of my friend's lunch breaks, we all visited his island to cheer him up because he had had a very long week of work. So it was really fun to go over and I crafted him a, a bunny day table and I bought some really cute outfits from his house that I'll actually go ahead and show you guys real quick. I'll stand under the little light pole here. But all of us picked out and started wearing <laughs> these little Power Ranger outfits. Aren't they so cute? <laughs> I ended up getting the silver one because I figured it could match the astronaut's helmet that we got. So I have a cute little silver one here. I hear you, balloon. It's a normal balloon! It might be a Sakura piece! Cross our fingers, guys. Think cherry blossom thoughts. And... Alright, what do we get? Oh no! Our trusty balloon blaster! Alright, we're gonna have to go ahead and make another one of those ASAP. And let's go ahead and open this up. Cherry blossom. Che okay, 5,000 bells. I will accept that for helping to pay off our uh, our debts that we have on the incline behind the campsite. But let's get our hands on some hardwood ASAP. I already hear another balloon incoming. And so now we need five pieces of hardwood in order to go ahead and make a new slingshot. I need to start leaving slingshots just around the island. <laughs> Cause this is quite quite stressful when we're not able to catch them in time. All right, there's all the wood. We need to visit with our villager friends. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and see. What do I need for a slingshot? Two more hardwood, that's what I thought. Good evening, Ursula, very nice to see you. You don't, oh yes, hardwood. You don't happen to have uh, any hardwood on you, do you? Oh no! <gasps> the 
conundrum deepens, friends. All right, that's it. We're gonna have to go into the house. Please be a bunny. Oh, thank goodness, it's just a sky egg. <laughs> all right, guys, let's go ahead and go into the house since apparently all of our tools were on their last legs. And we'll grab some from our copious amounts that we have in storage. And I'll show you guys the cute outfits that I got while visiting my friend Bryce. We had a good time. All right, let's see. There we go. We'll grab this hardwood. And then we're also going to need some stones and some iron nuggets and some branches in order to make all of the things that we have. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys the other really cute outfits that I found. I think a lot of you are going to love, you ready for this? The bun wig, the silk floral print, and these cute silk pants. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh, this is so cute. This is one of the outfits I want to run around in. This looks like such a great outfit for looking for cherry blossoms in. Oh, I really like it. You know what? I'm going to wear this tonight. Because why not? Do we have anything? In fact, let's go ahead and I'm going to actually turn this into an outfit that we can wear. Just really quickly. Colorless coat and then bunny day crown. Okay, the bunny day crown is pretty cute. The noble zap suit, I just, I'll keep that for any time we want to play Mighty Morphin Power Rangers with our friends again. Because uh, that was really fun. It's just so exciting that we spent lunch break with all of us across the country being able to work on Animal Crossing together. I thought that was really special. Also, we all ha were laughing so hard because there were documents actually available. This huge stack of documents available at his nookery today. So we grabbed it because we figured everybody was so busy with their work from home stuff that it made for a good joke. Uh, oh, and I definitely want to keep that amber, so we'll put that away. Also, he w had some white cosmos, yellow cosmos for sale at the nookery, and allowed me to keep these red cosmos. So we'll go ahead and plant those tonight because those are going to be really important. But let's see if we can set up a really cute little outfit for searching for cherry blossoms tonight. Let's create a new outfit. Out of these, they're just too cute. I cannot resist them. And I wonder, maybe no tights. Tori? Maybe none of those either. And maybe just like the green Zori? I think that's better than, <gasps> no, I have some gold Zori. Okay, that actually goes really well together. I knew I would have some way to use those gold Zori in the future. Uh, and we'll just go with no tights. And this will just be our fun, cute little outfit for, um, we'll just call it bamboo. Which sounds silly, but I just think it looks light and free. And we can, bamboo? Babmoo. I'm keeping it. <laughs> it's a classic now, I have to keep that name. Whoops, sorry guys. I always forget I can't change my wand outfit inside the house. Bam, bamboo. Bamu. Okay, that's hilarious. All right, well, let's get everything crafted up and let's also change our outfits really quickly. I guess we're, we're crafting first. That's fine. All right, quickly. Another balloon blaster. No time to waste. And I guess while we're over here, let's actually craft up some of the bunny crowns for, let's see, sky... Puddles already has one. So Sky, Ursula, Pierce, and Cranston. So we need four bunny crowns and then we need to craft something special for our good friend Puddles. Or we need to buy her something from Tommy and Timmy's shop. Or maybe we'll find something cute inside of the Able Sisters store. So let's go visit the Able Sisters before they close tonight. Ta-da! All right, there we go. And let's change our cute little outfit. I had no idea I would get so obsessed with that. And Bim, Bib, Bab Moo. Oh, that's so cute. This totally looks like an outfit ready for just a night of running around and having a good time and throwing cherry blossoms around and visiting with our friends. I think this will go very well. All right, we'll drop all of these over here because we don't need to worry about them. And then let's pick up, let's see, I'm going to need 
the sky eggs and the earth eggs. Okay, sky egg, earth egg. All right, let's get to it. We finally get to visit with our friends and we'll check what they gave us in the mail too. All right, we're gonna make them. Let's see. Yeah, four bunny date crowns. Oh, and Julian's gonna move in tomorrow. So we're, I mean, okay, I'm willing to be Julian's friend for however long he wants to practice his acting skills here until he moves out and somebody new moves in. We kind of run a little bit of a, a campground after all. You expect to see a lot of people move in. Some people decide that, you know, living on the wilds of Wildberry Island is a lifelong commitment. And other people would totally be cool with, like, moving on after some time passes. All right, here we go. One more crown. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy. I was looking forward to giving our friends some gifts all day long. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and see what they have given us in the mail. <gasps> Chip sent me something! Oh, I love you too! I wonder what the heck he said! That's really exciting! Gosh, I love that you guys get to see more of him that way, because that's just so exciting. <gasps> oh my gosh! Look how cute we are! I feel like some sort of little cherry blossom fairy. Also, I hear it. I hear it. Oh, hi, Ursula. Oh, she looks so happy, you guys. I feel like it's so hard for Ursula to be happy sometimes. So that makes me just overjoyed. Yay! All right, another sky egg. Oh my gosh, no, give me my umbrella back. I want to just be constantly holding this. Let's go ahead and favorite it because it is too cute. Um, we'll replace the shovel for now. It's too cute, too cute, too cute! Oh, look at what he gave us! Oh, this one's even more special because he, he didn't, like, I didn't craft it, he gave it to us. Okay, this is so precious. All right, let's see what else is going on. Let's visit with Pierce first. I just did 754 fingertip push-ups in honor of your present. My body is so sore from working out that I can barely hold this pen, but I had to say thanks. Anyway, stay hydrated. Yay! All right, Pierce liked the gift that we sent him. And I actually, fun fact, you guys, I talked to Pierce and Ursula last night just before I went to bed, and we unlocked something very special in the Nook Miles that I need to show you. It is not the fact that we managed to chop some wood. Ignore that. But the thing that I actually unlocked when I spoke with Ursula and when I spoke with uh, Pierce last night, let me see if I can find it, because it was very special. It was this one, True Friends. I spoke with Pierce, then Ursula, and they both gave me the True Friends achievement. It's good news for Nook Inc. when island residents get along. Good friendships are a cornerstone of island development. So you basically, I think, get three True Friends out of the villagers. Maybe you can have more, but we've made it to True Friends. So Ursula and Pierce both consider us True Friends. And I don't know what the distinction is or how that changes things, but I look forward to being able to share more gifts with them, being able to like see if they become happier and happier on the island. There are two balloons right next to each other. What the heck? No, not the fishing rod. Oh geez, and we're, no, 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 get off the bed. <laughs> okay, I'm not being a very good balloon blaster at the moment. We're gonna need to be very strategic about this because both balloons are gonna need to be over locations. We won't lose whatever's inside. Get closer, get closer. Cherry blossom, cherry blossom, cherry blossom. Searching for cherry blossoms by moonlight. All right, open. Imperial decorative shelves. Huh. Not a cherry blossom, but we'll cope with that in the near future. Uh, all of that said, where's my cute, no. Okay, slingshot's well and good. There we go. Let's finish checking the mail. All right, from Ursula, who is also a true friend of ours, to Fashion Guru Siri. I totally look awesome in the clothes you sent. Thanks a ton for those. I was talking to a buddy and they said I should send you a taste of my own fashion in return. I bet you're going to look like a rock star. Curiously, Ursula. 
So I sent everybody some clothes, so we'll see what they say. Hi Siri, thanks for the furniture. I've been thinking about where to put it, but I can't decide, man. It could go anywhere. I gotta figure this out from Cranston. Thank you, Cranston. I sent him a shanty floor for his bugs. Puddles. Did you know that a novel's, uh, that short novel's called a novella? It's so true. Anywho, you wrote a note so long, it felt like a novella. Impressive. Then I saw there was a Prezi, and that was double impressive. Your biggest fan, Puddles. Oh, I'm her favorite author. Okay, that one gets a favorite. And then from Sky, uh, there's so much to get used to after moving to a new place. Your note made me feel that for the first time, this really is going to be my home. I hope that this means the two of us will be good friends. Until next time, Sky. Oh, I love getting all of those notes from all of our villagers, guys. They're just so sweet. Also, I had a KK song. Alright, is it Sky Egg? It's a Sky Egg. Eh. I mean, since it's literally right here. All right, so now that we've looked over all of the things that they have said, let's open up the presents. This one is a sweater vest from Ursula. I love opening, it feels like Christmas. A clay furnace. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Hang on here. Let me get a good look at this clay furnace. Was this Puddles or Cranston? This was Cranston, wasn't it? Cranston! You continue to be my absolute favorite! This is so fun! I am totally making some delicious ri like rice for some yummy vegan sushi. Chips actually made that for me because I was feeling so sick last night. He made me some delicious vegan sushi. Drinking straw glasses. Okay, I'm too curious about what those two have sent us. So, <gasps> cherry blossom! Get it, Blossom Basket! Oh, dang it, I smushed the cherry blossom. Wait, wait, wait! Oh, thank goodness I got it. Alright, we're gonna need to collect all of the petals by moonlight that we possibly can to make lots of cute little piles of cherry blossoms. That's also a goal of mine. Let's change out of this really quickly just to see what our friends got us. And we'll run to the Able Sisters real fast to see if there's something nice. <laughs> I'm selling that monstrosity! I am not keeping that puddles. You're adorable, but no. Okay, we're definitely getting rid of that. Oh, and the sweater vest is so cute. Okay, I think that Ursula has good taste for sure. All right, what was the KK song we got again? Just KK song, huh? Well, we'll we'll work with that later. Ursula, hi. Gotta stop and smell the flowers now and then, you know? Running around everywhere. Where are you out? Don't you think, Ruth? Oh, it's so cute. Oh, hey, Pierce! See you guys, we're with our friends. Oh, this makes me so happy. All right, what's up, Pierce? Yo, Hawkeye, you seem hyped as always. Hey, what do you know about Big Chips? You know the athlete from Cary? I hear they made a huge profit from selling turnips. Judging by their smile, I believe it, Hawkeye. Actually, he did make a huge profit, like doubling the turnips. Yo, what's up, Hawkeye? You heard about Big Chips' extremely sweet tile yet? It's crisp chum! That's the kind of thing I'd call my muscles, except Big Chips' whole body is called that. I'm so jealous, Hawkeye. Also, dang it, I took too long and missed out whatever he was going to tell us. I'll have to remember not to play around with smiling. <laughs> and just get to business next time. Alright, hang in there, Pierce. Sky balloons, there we go. Alright, let's go check the... Able sisters before they close and then I want to visit with our friends a little bit more Hello, hello there 1,000 bells The 1,000 bell beetle in my pocket. There you go and We'll see if the able sisters. Oh, they have a little tux <laughs> We'll see if the able sisters have anything that we're really into I could have sworn I looked into buying <gasps> That tiny hat is so cute! Oh my gosh, Mabel! Okay, let me say hello to Sable even though she doesn't want me to. Sorry, I kinda have to focus on this so I don't wreck it. That's okay, Sable. Hey Mabes, could you help this customer out, please? Oh hey, sorry about that. When Sable's really focused, she can see a little, you know, prickly. There we go. We want to talk to them every day just so that Sable starts to warm up to us, even though if someone bugged me when I was working every day, I don't know if that would have that effect. 
But one day I will tell all of you about the tragic, true backstory of the Able Sisters. It is tear-jerking. I told Chips the true story, the true, like, canon story of what happened to the Able Sisters this morning, and, and he said it was just devastating. He could hardly deal with it. Also, this samurai shirt is so cute. Okay, we might have to buy a samurai shirt tonight, and we could put it up in Bamboo Mountain, just as decoration. Oh, that'd be so cool. It would go really well with our katanas, too. I wonder a gold one? I kind of like the green one a lot. All right, what else are they selling tonight? Tango dresses. That would be good for puddles, too. <gasps> a giant ribbon would be really cute for puddles as well. But the straw hat, you guys. Oh, the cute little ribbon straw hat. Oh, I think I want to definitely buy one of those. Otherwise, what else are you wonderful sisters selling tonight? You just never know when you might run into something that you're like, I absolutely must have that and live by it. Maybe some stockings? Nah, I'm good. All right, well, enough of our, our silliness shopping here. I think tonight the only thing I really want would be a cute little ribbon straw hat. We'll go for a blue one. Ooh, the long dim denim cardigan is really cute too though ah oh that's right and we definitely need a samurai <laughs> a samurai shirt that we'll put over on bamboo mountain all right ready to make a purchase we'll go ahead and just put them in our pockets all right thanks mabel oh apparently we got some nook miles from that oh nice the samurai shirt costs a lot of money, so we get, like, nook miles for spending money. Good night, Able Sisters! Very nice to see you guys. But alright guys, now that we have opened up the mail, we have popped a few balloons, and we have gotten a chance to show off all the cool stuff we got today, let's go ahead and talk to our friends and see what they have to say. Ursula? You hyped up for Bunny Day? April 12th is going to be here in no time. That's my wedding day, so I am very hyped for it. Whoa, group, someone feeling chatty? Yes, actually, that is my real-life wedding day, by the way, guys. Chips and I are getting married on the 12th. Seriously? You rock. What'd you get? Okay, let's go ahead and give her a Bunny Day crown, since everybody's so hyped for Bunny Day. Whoa, 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 a Bunny Day crown? Hang on a sec. I want to see how it looks. Oh, so cute! How does it look? Feels awkward just taking stuff. Here's 3,120 bells. My jaw hit the floor. Ursula, do you really think that the Bunny Day crown is worth that much? We might try selling it, guys. Hey, Pierce. Hey, Hawkeye. Nothing like a nighttime walk to get you all pumped up, right? So this is weird. I was doing my morning boulder lift, same as always, and a stone egg popped out. Then for my afternoon boulder lift, I went on Nook Miles to ticket tour, and I got even more stone eggs. I think I'm just gonna lay off boulder lifts for a bit, Hawkeye. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's just so many eggs that pop out of everywhere. Alright, let's see what, how, what he thinks of getting a bunny day crown. Wow, it's a bunny day crown. Thanks. I wonder if this will make uh, hair look muscular. Well, you have feathers. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. This is definitely my style, Hawkeye. Here's 3,120 bells. Try doing curls with them. You'll feel stronger in no time, Hawkeye. Wow, the villagers are really just giving us a lot of money for these tonight. And hey, Sky, how you doing? Having a good time? We just keep running into each other today, Airmail. She's wearing the little dress we got her. I hear the strangest thing has been happening. I hear that sometimes when you hit rocks, an egg comes out. <gasps> okay, I think that she was listening. This is really puts the wild in wilderness, doesn't it, Airmail? I think she was listening while Pierce was talking. That's so cute. All right, let's go ahead and see. I saw you, Cherry Blossom. Where did you go? Curses. All right, the Cherry Blossom has escaped me. But I, oh, no, no, there it is! There it is! Blossom basket! To the rescue! Yay! Alright! Let's go ahead and finish visiting our friends for tonight. And then once we wrap that up, I'm actually going to put down a few cherry blossom piles. I'm very much looking forward to that. Also, now I need the shovel. Cranston, have you allowed, like, the mole crickets to take over your front yard? 
You gotta be a little more cautious about this dude. Oh no, it's fossils! Dang, Blathers is gonna be really excited. Also, Cranston is really growing the tulips. Yay, and an earth egg! We're gonna need those. But Cranston is really like growing some turnips or tu tulips back there. All right, maybe we'll be lucky and he'll be building something or he'll give us something adorable like another ant farm. I will take all the ant farms he wants to give me. Oh look, he's hanging out with our peacock butterfly we gave him. Hey, thanks for coming to visit me. Why don't you hang out for a while? Yay, bunny day is almost here. That means eggs are gonna be in all kinds of weird places. Like in rocks. Everybody just wants to talk about eggs and rocks tonight. I love bunny day. Well, good news for you, I have a gift related to Bunny Day. This is yours. Let's go ahead and give him a Bunny Day crown to you. We have to wait for Sky to get off of the bench and then we can give her a Bunny Day crown. <laughs> nice! I really dig this color. Thanks, Siri. Here, a garden gnome. <gasps> Cranston, you totally know my heart. You guys, this is why I love Cranston. He always knows exactly what to get me. Even though the garden gnomes are a little bit creepy, I really appreciate that he knows I like gardens. All right, Cranston. I'll go ahead. Let's put the... Let's actually put down the succulent planter on top of there. And let's put the garden gnome in front of his house just for a day. All right, garden gnome, let's place the item. All right, all right, I'm coming. That succulent planter and any of the like recycled trash stuff just totally feels like things that Cranston would have. All right, we're gonna leave the creepy garden gnome sitting outside his house for the day just so that he knows we deeply appreciate it. And let's visit with Puddles really quickly. Honestly, making the rounds among the villagers, it's one of my favorite things to do with you guys. <gasps> Puddles! She's wearing the fairy dress we sent her, you guys! Huh? Oh, were you talking to me? Sorry, I was way into the DIY zone, Splish. Um, well, I'm making a wooden full-length mirror. Okay, that is so completely her. I dreamt the idea when I fell asleep watching Magda Mag Loves in Love. <laughs> All right, it doesn't matter if Mag uh, Love Mike took their relationship off the rails. I'm building a thing. All right, let's go ahead and learn how to make a wooden full-length mirror too. And so here we go. Thank you, Puddles. She's just like dancing to some cute little pop music in here. And she's having a grand time. Look, and she put her little bunny day crown in the corner. I love how you can see that their lives are being affected as you're learning like new things too and giving them new things. It's just so fun. All right, so Puddles is doing great and a wooden full length mirror sounds like a fantastic addition to what will hopefully be our re-outfitted wildlife research center soon. Tomorrow we're getting another room after all and what better time to really get in there and actually make it look like a proper building. Puddles, you look so cute in the fairy dress. Uh, do you want this? What should we give her? All right, let's see. I have some recycled boots. The Imperial Decorative Shells. I'm, clipping, I'm keeping that clay furnace if I can. Uh, let's see. Another Bunny Day crown. A common blue. Hmm. KK song? Let's try giving her a KK song. Why not? We can always buy another one. Oh, KK song. Thanks, Siri. I have the same one. I listen to it all the time. Always good to have a spare, you know? Oh, geez. All right. So apparently I misjudged that. That is not how much money we spent on that, but that's okay. Hi, Puddles. Oh, she looks so cute in the fairy dress. Well, I'm really happy. I just love taking good care of our villagers. And they have taken very good care of us, by the way, by giving us that much money. So let's actually go drop some of this money off at our campsite. Where now Julian <laughs> is spending the night getting ready to just move into his brand new house. Yes, yes, I know. We still need a whole bunch. But all of the villagers helped out a lot, so we can go ahead and contribute. 32,000 medals tonight. And I'll try to gather up more money and see if I can pay this off before tomorrow so that we can get our... How much? 72,000 bells? Well, uh, no, 96,000 bells! Ah! 
Okay, that might be a little bit beyond my ability to do tonight since I am so tired already. But I'm really proud about everything we have accomplished, you guys. We have really added so much to Wildberry today, and I just love spending the evening hanging out with all of our friends. I really can't wait to find out just more ideas of how we can make little meetup spots or little places for everybody to just relax. Sky, get off the bench and I'll be able to give you a gift too. Ursula seems like she is really, really relaxing more and more lately. And let's actually make a couple cherry blossom piles to celebrate the night. Oh, that reminds me. Let's put on our cute... Mm, let's, the Babmu. Let's put on our Babmu outfit while we do this. All right. And we'll craft a couple cherry blossoms. Oh, we'll craft all of the cherry blossom items we have so far, actually. That would be a good way to spend the night. I wish we had been able to get a few more, but that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and craft this cherry blossom pile. That was the thing I really, really wanted. Just a beautiful pile of petals that we can decorate all around the island. And then let's go ahead and craft... We already have the umbrella, thanks to chips. So now we just need to get our, all oh, the flooring. We need to get 20 weeds, and we need to pick up the iron nugget. And I would love to see how we can decorate them. All right, so iron nuggets are over here. And let's actually go across the river, and let's pick some weeds from around here. And then when we come back, yeah, this area actually needs a lot of weeds cleaned up. I'm not sure if the villagers would really want to, like, come over here. I like keeping some of the weeds for the naturalistic, adorable look they give. But, if we pop balloons over this many weeds, we might lose whatever's inside. There we go. There we go. Let's see. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20! There we are! All right. While we're here, we'll gather up some of the leaf eggs and a cherry blossom. That's what we're really looking for. Friendship and cherry blossoms by moonlight. I tell you what. All right, come here, little cherry blossom. Ready and waiting for you. Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm not very good at catching cherry blossoms, so it's kind of a miracle we have this many. <laughs> I need to practice a little bit more patience. I hear it. Hang in there, guys. Hang on, we're gonna search for it. It could be a cherry blossom recipe. It's going this direction. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, it's just an egg. I love how I could hear it from all the way up on top of the cliff. Chips laughs so hard because every time I'll be like, it's a balloon! While he's playing his game and he would not have heard any of it on his island. I am the balloon whisperer. All right, well now that we have got those pieces put together, let's come on over, let's go ahead and craft up the cherry blossom floor, which just looks amazing. I'm so glad we have that. Now we'll always be able to recreate the beauty of cherry blossom season in our house. And we'll go ahead and craft up the cherry blossom wall clock. Nice. There we go. And let's actually see how we can customize the wall clock. All right. So let's customize the wall clock. What would it take? So you can, oh, you can make it pink or pink and white. I want the pink and white one. There we go, and I hear another balloon coming. So we'll check this balloon, and then I think what we'll go ahead and do. All right, come here, cherry blossom balloon. It's moving too fast. This is gonna be an egg balloon. You can actually tell by the speed. Normal balloons move slower. Egg balloons move faster. And so if you listen carefully, you can hear the speed of the balloon is slightly different. Yes, I'm that obsessed. I have managed to pin down the details that well. All right, Sky, last chance. 
Okay, I'll have to give you your little egg reef later. And then we'll have given all of the villagers their egg reef and... Oh, the Able Sisters shop just closed. Gosh, I'm really glad that we definitely ran in there and grabbed the things we wanted before they closed. All right, let's see. What outfit do I want to wear? Oh, that little kimono is so cute. Oh, let's actually change our... Oh, let's change our hair to match the kimono. And pose over by our little Sakura picnic with the gorgeous Sakura... Umbrella that Chips has given us by the end of the night. Oh, and I kind of want to put the moss ball over by it, too. That would be really cute. All right. Well, let's see. We're going to go ahead and see what the cherry blossom flooring looks like. <gasps> it's a lot prettier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, we're going to have to dedicate one of our greenhouse rooms to hosting a little cherry blossom festival at some point. The other rooms other than this main one, I want to kind of turn into just greenhouse rooms all throughout the entire building. So that's going to be really fun. But let's go ahead and put that in storage. And then the clay furnace, I totally love it. Sweater vest, really cute. We'll put that in storage too. Uh, Imperial decorative shelves. Let's actually see what those are. I think those fell from the sky. Ooh, those are really nice too. I'm very happy that we have those. I can totally, totally get behind that. All right, so we'll go ahead and put those in storage too. And the cherry blossom petal pile. I absolutely want to be able to show those off. And let's go buy some of the new hairstyles because a lot of you guys have been suggesting the pop hairstyle so that I can put my hair up in a bun, which as you guys know, since my hair goes down to my knees in real life, it's often in a bun to stay out of the way. Yay! What a nice night! I, I really think it is totally worth it to spend time building up a relationship with the villagers. Even Julian, I think, will have a very interesting and very different way of introducing us to his experience on the island. Alright, let's go ahead and get the top eight pop hairstyles. Thank you very much. And then since we have so many Nook tickets, we'll go ahead and grab the other hairstyles too. The cool hairstyles. Huh, okay. I, this totally makes sense. I learned some pop hairstyles. There we go. And actually, Puddles actually uh, was telling us about how to make a mirror tonight, which is just so her, isn't it? She totally would be the one who'd be like, oh, Siri, this is how you do it. I love the idea that Puddles actually helped us set up our hair. There we go. Very nice. Yay! All right, so those are done too. And we'll go change up our hair. And then we will progress our way over to our little picnic area, put down our pile of cherry blossoms, and call it a wonderful night, because it has been a very long day for me with our adventures. But for you guys, you are getting ready to start a brand new day. And I'm really looking, oops, wait, no, I didn't want to craft anything. And I'm really looking forward to sharing even more adventures and discoveries with all of you for whatever's happening Saturday morning in Wildberry, which you guys will see a little bit later today. All right, so let's check all the hairstyles. There's so many now! Oh, I love the bun! I do love the bun. You guys are totally right. I do love the bun. Oh my gosh, okay, so there's this cute little piece. This is totally like the bun I try to wear in real life, so that's that's gonna be my hair for now. And then we'll even add just a little pinch of blush, just for now, just for now. Uh, there we go. All right, perfect. <laughs> I love it! Oh, she looks so cute. There. And we'll finish off a nice night with friends. And a nice night searching. Oh, there's so. <gasps> I'm in love. Do you see that? Do you see that? Do it again. Do it again. Oh my gosh. 
All right, all right. I know I just said we were done and we'd- Oh, oh there's a cherry blossom. You perfect, perfect, wonderful petal, you. Where'd it go? Oh, I think I probably destroyed it just then, but I couldn't find it. Oh wait, there it is, there it is, there it is. Across the river, eh? Oh, we caught it! Yes! Oh my gosh, we look so cute gathering up the cherry blossoms by moonlight. Yes, this is everything I wanted. All right, we're gonna craft a couple more cherry blossom piles and put them down like right now because they are ridiculously cute. And I can't believe when you run through them, you actually see the petals just flurry up around you. That is so precious. All right, there we go. I hear another balloon. We'll do one more search for a good balloon tonight. And I'm so happy that we finally have the cherry blossom petals and we have such a cute cherry blossom outfit too. All right, where are you, balloon? Ah, okay. So unfortunately it is not a cherry blossom balloon, but I will keep my eyes out tonight, you guys. Searching for more balloons that would match the awesome cherry blossom vibes we have. But never in my wildest dreams of preparing our adventures in Wildberry Island did I ever think that we would be able to create something so ridiculously adorable and so beautiful. I had no idea that we would be able to, to just detail our experience so well. This is just so pretty. Oh my gosh. I just love everything about this. All right, I want one more pile right over here. And I love this! Okay, this is perfect for me. This is absolutely perfect. You guys, I love this. All right, well, thank you guys so much for spending the evening winding down with me, visiting with our villager friends. Who do you guys like the most on our village? Because I'm really in love with all of our villagers, and I'm really hoping that I will learn how to handle the relationship with Julian. He and I already have a little bit of a interesting relationship, but I'm sure it'll all work out really well at some point, somehow, in the future. <laughs> I'm really hoping I'm trying to stay positive. Oh, that's cute. And I love this. I love that Chip sent us this cherry blossom, like, parasol. It is just ridiculously cute. Ah, oh, and I'm basically happy. We get to unwind at the end of the day in this beautiful, happy place. And every single day we see Wildberry Island growing and changing and turning into somewhere that we can host celebrations and see familiar faces and deepen friendships. And I hope that it can become a place of refuge for you guys too. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. I'm so glad that all of our villagers seem so happy. I'm so happy that Wildberry is turning into such a beautiful place. And I can't wait to share more with you guys next time. So I'll see you guys later today for whatever adventures we're getting up to in Saturday morning with Julian making his presence known in the village and more houses that Tom Nook wants us to be putting down. And I hope you all have a wonderful morning. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.